Evening everyone, how are we doing tonight? Welcome along. Hey Stephen and Jeremy, hope we're both well. I could be really annoying saying I've already got that day off, Jeremy. <clears throat> and that was unintentional. Might change though. So we are back on 19 tonight. For another first look at a map contest mod map. Or mod contest map, get the right way around. This time we are on Elabac, which is quite a, another quite a big map really. Lots of fields on it, lots of details on it, and an additional crop. Yeah, my boss ain't he's completing out a nightmare, Jeremy. Very harsh to work for. Awful person. Are you two taking a turn to see how many O's you can put? Because I can soon put pay to your game between the pair of you. I haven't even looked, Stephen, yet to see about um, animals or anything on here. This is the first time I've been on here. I haven't even driven around the map yet. We'll do as per usual. And we will go left. Oh, I know what most people call him, Jeremy. I'm one of them. I'll call him it to his face. I have to be looking in the mirror to do it though, and they tend to crack when they look in the mirror. Hey Nathan, how are we doing? We'll have a look at the animals shortly. I think we need to have a look in the woods on here as well though this time. Let's have a little a bit of off-road adventure in the woods. I'm good thanks. So we're back to random tree pattern on here which looks good. See if we can find the map boundary. We can. I'll take that sort of map boundary any day. Can't see the boundary there, that's good. There it is. Have I updated what, Stephen? I haven't installed the newer patch update today. There's nothing in there which is fairly critical I'm looking at it. Still forgotten to sort the dead zone out though. So I have a feeling this map is running the Forgotten Fruits pack, looking at the colour of everything in the fields. No, I haven't updated yet, Stephen. That's the one, Jeremy, patch for the patch, which patched the patch, which patched the patch. So we've got buy points in here for fertiliser and lime. When we start getting the patch, which patch the patch, which patch the patch, which patch the patch, which patch the patch, which broke broke the patch, we've got a problem. So we've got lots of little woods on here, which is nice to see. A bit odd with the soil texture there. In fact, something very odd with the soil texture. I think we've seen that effect somewhere before, haven't we, Dal? 
how that just went. Definitely got the forgotten fruits maze there. Just gonna um, try something there. I think I've done it. That's a little bit on the weird side. Look at the uh, top corn Lee plant the field, Dal. I think we've seen that on another map we're watching someone streaming, haven't we? Where that uh, start to do that texture. That's the one. I don't know what they've done to it to get to do that. This is only ever the second map I've seen do that effect. So it just occurs as you go up to it. it certainly is, Nathan. It looks really interesting. So we actually got looks to be the animal dealers in here. Zoom in again now. Interesting. The top half of the doors opens. And the bottom half this time. Interesting little setup. So you can't find the triggers to buy the animals here, Stephen. So we're down there at the moment. So that's Yep, I got them. There we go. Make sure you've bought the uh, area, Stephen. Don't know if I've got the zone markers turned on. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's no zone markers. It's just outside these doors. On the cow shed. Hey, Rabbit Man, how are you doing? So you need to buy it first, then... Um, you can get them. I'll just get a couple to try it. Not short of money. So we got ten in there. And the rest in the field. That's a nice little uh, setup. Were you trying to buy animals without actually owning the animal shed by any chance, Stephen? Evening Renault, how are we doing? 
a workshop here. We'll go and take a look at the other animal building down here. That's a nice looking animal shed. Let's see what other one we've got down here. So we've got another cow one down here. And yet another workshop. Spoilers for workshops down here. So as per last time we now at this one. Look for the animal dealer logos all over the map I think is what you got to do Stephen. We'll go around all of them and see what we can get where. We've just got to buy the area first. So now with this one should be if we go outside one of these doors. There we go. Oh, sorry to hear that, Renault. Yeah, those models do look nice what you put the pictures up of. So at the minute, the cows can't get back in the shed or out of the shed, in theory. But I think the cows might have another idea, shall we see? What do you reckon? Have we got to have the door or something? I did see that 7810 picture you put up, Jeremy. Well, the farm I've been on today, I got a 3350 there. Which is equally as nice. It's a bit FPS heavy down there. Let's carry on with our look around. Of course, we've got my grass textures in here again. Another cell point here. Looks possible that there's different soil textures on there by that drilled field. I find out for certain. Could be my soil texture, it depends how it's set up. We got a weird bit going on with this um, field terrain there. Another wood we can drive in there actually. Nice little woodland bit to drive through. Tree, missed it. It's a nice little track through here actually. We had a bonus of food puddles. We'll go down to the right at the moment, but we've got some more animal buildings here. I think it's only fair we take a look at them. A 
storage buildings this side. And animal dealers this side. So that's the actual animal dealers itself. But by the looks of this. We've got another animal yard over here. Let's take a look what we've got this time. Looks like more cows. So that is the actual animal dealer, that one you can't buy the that bit. This one we can. See no more animal pens anywhere now. But we have another cow shed here by the looks of it. So heavy on the cows on here. To be fair, the cows I used to work with always used to try and join you in the tractor as well, but that was usually by force. <clears throat> Certainly is, Reno. And we have the BGA in here as well with three clamps. Slightly smaller hopper on this one than the last couple we looked at. I think we'll try and make our way to our yard now. Some nice neat hedges on the houses there. I don't know if I dare look in the churchyard. I was going to say something rude about an ex-missus then and being there. Only carrying a vehicle, but I think I'll leave that one. <clears throat> so we have our main farmyard here. And that looks very much like there could be a BGA in the back of it. And another cow shed. Yep, so we've got a little BJ at the back of the farmyard here and another silage clamp. Whoever made this map really does like their cows a lot. Almost as much as Nathan like his sheep. So what have we got in here? Disc cultivator. Forage wagon, slurry tank, yeah, that's an unusual starting implement. Mower, tedder, rake, baler. Put a little arrangement in there. This is the one you had trouble with, Stephen. Now it's Dali like the goats. Jeremy, not me. I would say this one.
looks more like you may have to go by the maybe. Interesting. I would say that's the cave field. Which isn't owned by us. I have the I have a little um, suspicion here. Oh look, you don't own them. You're saying about not being able to buy animals at the farm, Stephen? Seems we have cows over here now. It seems when you come in here on New Farmer, you don't actually own very much. Okay, catch you later, Renner. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Yeah, next time, Stephen, if you can't buy something, just take a look at the uh, map and see what you actually start with. Because in the case of this, it's absolutely nothing on New Farmer. Nothing but money. So now we own that. Where else have we got yards on here? We'll go around all these various yards on here and take a look. Because although this yard has all our starting equipment in it, we didn't actually own it. It's a slight, it's a match, that's a slight oversight by the map creator, that one. What have we got in this shed? I see a combine. TX32, just for a change. Workshop in there. Truck in there. Sounds like a Jeremy. If you're squatting, you might as well just have a quick swim in the pool at the same time. It's just such a warm day. Have a Steyr, the Warsey, and New Holland down here. It's a good amount of starting equipment. Between New Holland in there. We know what's in that shed. So, onwards, see what else we can find. Interest why I'm doing that, you've got to buy the farm before the animal points show up. the potatoes but we have got a collision on that fence the other one I walked through this looks very much like a animal type yard to me of a porcine nature big yard and workshop here it 
So we're now into this yard. Two pig sheds and a chicken coop. So as we bought them, it's telling us what we're getting. So cows and chickens there. Cows and chickens there. Pigs and chickens here. So where do we go for this one? About there. pig shed. What a shame the pigs can walk through the gates. Hollow pigs. Interesting little pig shed set up that is. I'm guessing we can come through there to draw them down. So chickens. Yeah, that does have that sort of uh, look to it. There'd be chickens in there somewhere. Why have I uh, got black chickens? I just bought white chickens. Interesting. So I buy white chickens and I get black chickens. And a white one over here. Okay. They are most definitely not white, are they? Looks like we've got free room and chickens will actually turn black when they get into the shade. Okay. If they turned black when they got into light, I'd think we had vampire chickens. Got a little bit scorched. Wash a chicken. They should be telling me to clean my cockerel. Let's head in this direction now. See what other buildings we can find. We've got some sheep somewhere we need to look for. And the new crop, which... Is that the new crop? Yes, rye. We have a crop of rye on here. Let's see if I can find a field closer to the shop for them. I think we might have some more animal sheds up in front of us to have a look at. Yeah, we will drop in on them a bit later, Jeremy. Check that one. It's the first of the mod contest maps I've actually bought animals on. I think we could have another pig farm. We shall see.
We've got pigs there, we need to find that one. That little one in the wood there would be interesting to find out. Where else we got ones we haven't been to yet? One down there. I'll have to go and find. Um, what is that pig doing up there? <laughs> I think we might have just had a floating pig. Okay, something a bit amiss with the uh, boundary there. Could be. At least I know it'd be low fat pork if that was flying. At least we know the animal triggers are all working. And another chicken shed there as well. This map is extremely well laid out for multiplayer, that's for certain. Hey Formal, how are we doing? Let's go to the right. How deep the ponds? Not very. Fence there. All good, thanks. Let's go up into this yard and have a look what we got. Let's have a look at this one. You've not been letting GD advise you on GE, have you? That's dangerous. Okay, we can buy this one. I look like some sort of um, mad rabbit in that picture. Ooh, feed trough. Okay, the trigger's slightly off on that one. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. You've let him talk you into just doing, um, G. Um, they're just taking a bit of finding at the minute. There's no zone markers on the map, so we just got to go around and find where they are. We've not had floating cows and we've not had floating pigs yet. So 
So there should be some sheep in there somewhere. That all works okay. Workshop up here as well. It's quite nice how it's laid out so every yard you can buy on here has got workshop facilities. And I think we're safe. He's not um, been finished streaming too long, Jeremy. I don't think he's set fire to anything yet unless his computer's blown up. building of some sort of hidden up up there. So we're going for another little drive through the woods. Phone mast. Certainly is without. That's my grass text, not the one on the map. The map has got forgotten fruits on it though. Hey GD, how are we doing? But is that bit buyable? I'll just check that. What happens if we buy that? Do we gain something? No, basically. Or do we gain income from that phone mass? This is quite a nice, well laid out map again. I'm good, thanks. Starting to get a bit warm, but I'm good. This one is another map which I think suit, would suit multiplayer very, very well. How that's laid out. I think I got off John's website. I believe we're somewhere near where we started here. I feel the roy there. Yeah, this is basically GD. I don't know how long you've been lurking. But all these green bits I've now bought because even in New Farmer you don't start with any animal yards or anything on this map you have to buy these yards then the animal animals actually show up on them until you actually bought the yards the animals don't that doesn't show up that you can buy them which is an interesting one the zone markers aren't there so this is exactly where we started We want to find our way back down the bottom of the map to where that other yard is, see what we've got down there. No one saw that. Yes, we got. I think I've lost count of how many cow yards we found on here now. Three or four. Two pig buildings, one sheep building, numerous chicken buildings so far. Get right down the bottom end of the map now. We are going to buy a field of rye and try the textures out on it with the combine. That's the plan. Well, they're not frozen. <coughs> No frozen animals there. There's a wonder. Mm -hmm. 
a track. So we'll go for a little ride through the track again. See what we can find through this way. If I can get lost again. Have a look at some of the other field prizes in a few moments. It's a possibility without. I am liking the map boundary on here. It's got one of those lovely map boundaries, which I'll demonstrate to those who weren't in earlier. It's got one of the best map boundaries going. There it is. That's the map boundary. So it's the sort of map boundary Bullet Bill was using in 17 on Loon Oak. What Oxy's been using where you can't actually see it. You just slam straight into it. So no painted boundaries or anything. Nice little stream down here. And the FPS is pretty good on here as well. That's only dropped a few times. Where haven't we bought a yard yet? We want to end up down this way. So we've gone the wrong way. <clears throat> Do a little bit off roading again. See a bit more of the map going across the fields. Another track through the woods here. Have a ride on. Interesting. Bales. So we can't buy that one, but we can buy that BGA. <clears throat> Ooh, that's an expensive BGA. 1.764 million. Well, we've got the money. We did have. Been eating into our funds on there. The price the fields are. And animals and things. So we found one sheep yard, numerous cow yards, numerous chicken yards, a 
the pig buildings. It looks like um, sheep are an ethnic minority on there. Hmm, good point. I haven't found horses yet. That's a very good point. We haven't found any horses yet. Where else we got? Okay, let's just there's something in there. We'll sell that again. We'll go down the other way. We'll take a look and see what that is in that clump of grass. I won't be able to sell them now with oaks. I've put animals in them. I have to sell them first. So I've not found horses. Interestingly. Animal pens, okay. Let's go for lots of pressure washers, but no buildings in the garage there. Let's have a look in this one. Not in there either. Just that one. The modded cow shed. So everything else is built in. Horse paddocks are in there, but uh, nothing special. Right, where have we got a field of rye near the shop? Right, we want a combine. In two ways about it, we want a combine. Let's see what I put in. Selection of Lexians. Well, I suppose as it's a German map. I think it's a German map anyway. We might as well go for Alexian. I've got the 670 installed, interestingly. Okay, interesting. It's the 670 installed, but we've got a header for which must mean that's for this one. Okay, catch you later without. Have fun. Hope we get on right with that one. No, I haven't, Jeremy. Hang on, 
how long I did try one auto contour pack for them quite a long while ago. Now how are we supposed to get that lot hooked up? Answers on a postcard. Heaven help and I thought Metagrove was tight. If John said Metagrove was too small a yard, well, what am I going to think to this one? I think they need to work on the size of the spawn point somehow. A slight technical issue with it. And it's technically too small for the machinery. Thank goodness we didn't buy the uh, ideal combine. Baldy man. Be a bit more space around the front here to spawn stuff. Where is the nearest field of Roy to us, which is ready to harvest? Probably that one, I should think. Yeah, field 31. 29,376. That's not expensive. Big field there. 114,000. 109. 146, 109 there, 158, big block of woodland there, 444, so field prices are not bad at all on there, just gonna keep an eye what's going on outside for a minute because there's these lovely big black clouds what tend to have bright lights flashing out of them outside and funny noises, which would mean I would stop streaming. We're just gonna um, abuse our neighbour's field here. <clears throat> because I usually use the mouse to move about in um, there myself, formal. Use the mouse button to drag yourself around and the wheel to move about to zoom around on there. Hey Nathan, how are we doing? Let's see what this Roy texture's like once we get going with it. And also what the straw does. See what happens in the tank.
How easy would it be to put something like raw onto Metagrove, Nathan? If you want to add a couple of extra crops in there. You know, there's one you want to get rid of on there. I'm curious to see how we do for bales on rye straw. not got on very well I've been trying carrots and onions on the maps no doubt I'm doing something obviously wrong So what are our thoughts on this map so far then? So we now looked at three, I presume, a German maps in the contest. Yeah, my trouble is Nathan, I've not got the hang of it. How many people feel a day of illness coming on for the 24th of July then? I mean, we know Jeremy does. He's already, I can always almost sense he's started a nasty cough and feeling very ill already. So I just get a general feeling that he just don't feel right. How difficult do you think it's going to be to add it in what needs doing, Nathan? And they ain't even started rolling yet, too much, Jeremy. Got one or two moving around this way, a couple of fields combined. Closest one being about five miles away. at the start I think I am off that day at the moment hmm, not too keen on the Roy texture Looks a bit more like porridge in the tank than Roy. I'm sure that could be easily rectified with a couple of tweaks from 17. Looks more like porridge to me. Whoops.
little bit of a straw on there. Didn't buy any big equipment on here. The shop is letting it down at the moment. This spawn point is far too small. Right, so we need to just battle that field now. What balers did I put in here? Help us to what track drive by. Isn't that a thing? I put that one in here. Guess we know which baler I'm going to use to just do that small field then. put a 40 series on it. How the devil are you supposed to pick that baler up? Interesting. At least we moved it round now. So more of a chance of getting out. The drawbar ain't got occlusion on it. So we've got a video going out tomorrow which is the first look at Oxy's map. See what you think of that one. So this baler does the same trick with this tractor. Just chucking a fair few bales out. Yeah, put a few more out if we went behind the ideal or something though. Not gone over that one too much yet. I've actually not done a first look or anything on it because everyone else seems to have been there. It's been done to death by some people already. trying to stick to the ones which people are not looking at so much. Now I think I, all of my looked at so far uh, Geiselsberg still is the favourite, the first one we looked at live this one being a close second
Not done too badly on bales. So if we can find a uh, field of wheat or barley of similar size just to combine to check it with. It certainly does, Jeremy. If only you knew someone who could make one. Where's that, Nathan? What I've seen of the two fields that were combined not far from here early in the week. Um, there's an awful lot of barley straw on those two. Behind the combine. Sort of waist high swaths. Evening 1174, how are we doing? So get a trailer in a minute and just empty that combine out. I'll find a field of wheat or barley of similar size and have a go at that and see how it yields compared to Roy. Bad day today, thanks. Good day not getting run over by teenagers, that's all good day. that field. How many little bells did we get off there? Fifty-three. Let's see if we can find a field of barley or wheat of a similar size ready to harvest. Well thirty-three looks Similar in size, I think. That one was twenty nine three seven six thirty four. Another nice map. Eleven seventy four. A lot of cow yards on it, so those two are cow yards. That one's a cow yard. Two pig yards there. Chickens there. And cows there as well. So four cow yards, two pig yards there, another pig yard there, and a sheep yard there. Field twenty 
two. Twenty-six. Let's go with thirty-three. It's an experiment. What have we got on here? One hundred and sixty-two fields of varying sizes. So we want a tractor and trailer. I didn't put the PTS packs in. No. Well, there's a trailer we can have a look at. It's one in the mod contest. I'll put a decent tractor on the front of it. Oh. Say decent. Said John Deere. Or we could go with a little fin. Because since I've done the review on this fin, I've changed the sound files in here. Which might appeal. It's not that one I want, it's the TMS one. I'll stay with Michelin and put some wide ones on it. We'll beef it up to the 415. This sounds a lot better with the sound files on it. Sounds like a Fent 400 series now. Takes a while to get used to GE. Don't know if we can uh, just get us on the field and tip up, see what the underside of the trail is like. Because this is the one out of the contest. That's better detailed than those cramped ones were what arrived the other week. Shiny, shiny ram texture. Bolts under there. Nice little trial of this one. Don't do this at home, kids. In no circumstance you ever go under a prop trial, unprop trailer like this. You might get a bit of a headache, briefly. Two hydraulic hoses. Same way you would with any program, undo. For memory. Best thing to do with GE formal is get a map what you aren't worried about wrecking and just have a play with it. Don't save any changes when you're done. Just have a play. Now, Roy texture is not the best. I think that'll be an easy fix. I think we all know a map what has Roy on it in 17. Uh, awful lot of trailers have that ram back there now. We want to go this way. Into this field. Continue our little experiment here. So 
so this one is completely unfertilized as well I think so see how many little conventional bales we get off this field spawn dividers back on in this field. We didn't have them in the Roy. It's interesting. Of course that's got my barley texture I put in there. By that the one I mean I mean the one off uh, FSUK, not the one with the map. Well, it's the one I've been using on every other map. You know, there's some monstrous trailers all that back there now. 1174. The days of rams further forward are gone. What are you trying to do on there for them? What are you trying to do to Greenwich? That's not uh, such a simple thing to start with until you know what you're doing with it. Depending on what sheds you're trying to add. Yeah, I would um, maybe start with something a bit simpler than trying to duplicate a shed. I know what sheds you're trying to duplicate on there. Start by trying to remove a hedge or two, or a bit of fence, or gate posts, and work your way up. Yeah, but you're a Scotsman with short foos, 1174. Yeah, just be careful what you start deleting, because I'm sure Nathan will uh, agree with this. If you start deleting certain things, other things remain and you might cause yourself some problems. not just the clamp that you may have to delete. It is possible for you to entirely break a map if you do something too wrong. Trust me. Hey Mean Bean, how are we doing? I'm good, thanks. Quite struggled to fill this up. Do the whole field without filling this up more to the point.
So as this field is slightly bigger, we should really get a few more bales off here. Do you think the rye would have had more straw to it? Come on then guys, what's your favourite map so far at the contest? Do you know Greenwich features, some of you? Uh, I've now looked at three here. You know, my one is uh, Geisersburg. First one I looked at. Not looked too close at Greenwich yet, but I imagine that'll feature when I do get a good look at it. So we're now going to bail that field. Interesting read, isn't it, Nathan? Yeah, looks like it's the ultimate realism. There. Look forward to that. So we were on 53 when we left the other field. Yeah, grazing mod does look, or uh, well, it's good to see grazing mods direct in the to it. But reading actually what they've done with seasons, it's quite easy to see what's not in the map as standard. That looked very much like an animal building over there in front of us. Have to go and have a look at that. Yeah, it's bringing farm sim closer to cattle. What cattle and crops have been trying to do. Um, have you read the blog, eleven seventy four, which is in my Discord? It's actually due for release on the 24th of July on PC. You should read everything to the end. It's right at the bottom of it. It is formal. They have Nathan. So it's very easy to see why that couldn't be in this base game with all what they've done to it this time. 
I've never managed to achieve that before release. That's taken them another eight months to get it out. So it's been eight months longer to bring the game out. I'm taking it that's a very big hint, Dal. Well, they need to read what Relismus said in the blog. Yeah, but I think Giants are getting the blame unfairly for some of that. Jeremy. There's other market forces at play, I think. Seem to have had a bit of paint stripper put on our baler. Do you think it's going to be easier seventeen to? Uh but right, Nathan? You always got more of an idea than most of us. Or possibly more of an idea what could be involved. Yep, not long to wait now. Of course, your trusted testing team will be willing to take a look at it as soon as you've uh, got it on there. It will work on the maps formal, but your bales will still rot in buildings. If they're not the in-game ones, if I've read it right. I think that's what it basically translated into. It won't look its best, put it that way. A bit like this bale is no longer looking its best now we've used it for a little while. Definitely needs a wear rate sorting. If it's as easy as it was in 17 for what Nathan was saying, it shouldn't take too long to do them.
We're going to have a little um, ride in a moment on here. Literally, if that other building's what I think it is down there. We might have a few more bales off the barley than the Roy. Gather this a little bit up. Night Jeremy, thanks for stopping by tonight. Hope you enjoy messing with aircons again tomorrow. Right, what have we got off this one? Just as a comparison. 116, so I had 53 off the other one. That's 63 bales off there, so another 10. Just go for a little drive down to this uh, rather horsey looking building. Hidden down here. That ain't horses. This building has a very um, piggy feel to it. Could be wrong. You can't buy it. It's interesting. So if we want that building there, you can't buy the outside of the map, you can't buy that building. Definitely looks like a pig building though. So that one is, looks to be pearly ornamental. Interesting. So it looks like there is only the one sheep yard on here. that in the corner of that field. Ah, oh, I think we've just found another sheep building. We have. There's another sheep building hidden over here. You've got a sheep building there and a trough there. Can we see any more little buildings between fields? Mm 
Yes, down there. That one's not come up as anything though. Two sheep yards, three pig yards, and four cow yards. Now we're up to yeah. This map, I don't think you get a better one for multiplayer, really, or how we found on here. What's that? Horses, we've got them. We finally found the horses. We finally got some zone markers on the ground. Napoleon. Have you ever tried to um, drive a horse before? Hard to ride a horse with a steering wheel. So I think we've now found all the animal pens, haven't we? Can't be any more, surely. building I was just interested in down here. No, literally just a storage building. So you have found them all now. Just hard to find them on here. So I've done a first look on a horse before. Could be an interesting one. It's very hard to steer. But just as easy to crash. So that's a link to this map I'll just put into chat there. If anyone wants to have a look at it. If you haven't got it downloaded you can just follow that one. So if you going through the mod hub to find it. I think we've got everything now. Just interested to see what happens when we creep up on the cows. They're frozen. Frozen cows. Oh, they moved. Okay, we're a bit further away than usual. And they start to move. If you hold the steering wheel around, just get the horse to go round and round in spots. Mm -hmm. 
You have now, 1174. Yeah, this is a really nice map, this one. So the big question is, what does Dal think of this map? He was the one begging me to do it last night. Trying all sorts of devious means to win the vote. So I shall most likely be streaming again tomorrow night, so what map should we have a look at then? we got here. Horse doesn't seem very happy. We have something else here. We're in field 68. We've got another horse enclosure. That doesn't even show as a building on the map. So that would have took some finding. Just wonder what happens if we buy any other grass fields, whether there's gonna be any other thing crop up in them. We haven't found yet. Yeah, that looks good, Nathan. Oh, we've still got enough money. We're just going to go around and buy some grass fields now, just check there's nothing we've missed after that one. Depends what's out there and available, Daniel. Because I have to be a map which has got seasons on it. Otherwise, the bales will rot. See more animal enclosures crop up yet when we bought a field. This is why I cheat a lot of money in the map when we do a first look sometimes. Wouldn't normally boil the grass fields, but as that horse one has uh, shown up without any sign of it being on there. A bit suspicious of this bottom corner for some reason. Particularly that one. Nope. Nothing will have it yet. Daniel, no one knows what to put on them. That all has to be installed when it's released. Not finding any other animal enclosures at the moment, are we? doing this because of uh, we're nearly out of money now anyway a 
it'll be up to the individual map maker to put the updates on. Not seeing anything here which is uh showing up animal yards. I think we've found them all now with those last horse ones. Mod contest, it's a giant mod makers contest, so people enter mods they've made into contests, see if they can win anything. That horse has a worse twitch than GD's horse over here. Good job we came through this way and found that. Hoss has its uses. It'll be up to the map maker, Stephen. If the map maker doesn't put on, then no. If they do, then it does. So it's not down to giants to put. Seasons on a mod map. There's this weird texture issue on these fields, which is the interesting one. Why it does that? There's a clump of trees in the middle of the field there. Anyway, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. So I'll be back tomorrow night so it's a few maps we haven't looked at yet so feel free to suggest which one you'd like to see it will not be Oxy's map however that's going out as a video tomorrow so Leaves us with Greenwich and a couple of others in there we haven't looked at yet. There's still one or two mods we haven't looked at either, but they'll probably grow out as videos over the weekend. Let's just get this back to here. Our sheep. And that's where I will finish for tonight. So, pop a link into chat for one of today's videos as per normal. I'll say just keep an eye on my channel over the next couple of days because it seems that notifications are not going out. Main video always go out at 7 in the morning, and if there's a second one, it's 8 time between 2 and 4 in the afternoon as a rule. The streams at 7 o'clock at night. Um, YouTube is playing up again at the moment, which isn't helpful. But for now, I will say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this stream, and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.